Good day, YouTube. This is Jay with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just bringing a uh, one a video to you today on Zometica. Uh, I've been kind of watching this one. <laughs> Unfortunately, forgot about it. I was watching it back here. I uh, kind of heard some talk about it. And then this kind of happened on Friday. So um, I just kind of shot up right at the uh, end of the day. So And then it's kind of staying there today. I... Um, was watching it this morning uh, I think it was up in here somewhere and I just put in an order for 90 cents just to uh, kind of um, as they say stick in the big toe and um, just kind of see where it goes so um, be watching this one as long as it keeps trading here I kind of like the uh, run up and then the uh, sideways kind of shows some support but we'll see once it gets out here and what it does the rest of the day but um, just kind of one to watch, but uh, if you haven't heard of this one, it uh, operates in the development stage company, creates products for companion animals by focusing on the unmet needs of clinical veterinarians. It plans to offer novel diagnostics and therapeutics that focuses on patient health and practice health. The company was founded by um, on January 7th of 2013, headquartered in uh, Michigan. So kind of a small uh, market cap. It's been around uh, for a couple years since 2013. Um, I don't usually look at ones like this below a billion dollar market cap, but um, there's something going on with this one. So I just thought I would uh, throw it out there and uh, come across uh, some information on it. They appointed uh, Robert Cohen, CEO of the company, nears commercialization of True Forma. And so just kind of some information in here. Again, this is on uh, Yahoo Finance. Uh, creating point of care diagnostic products for dogs and cats. Today announced the appointment, effective January 1 of 2021. And so some new management here and... Um, Brings more than 30 years of executive leadership and operation experience from the medical device, biotechnology, and pharmaceutical industries. Uh, so maybe, and following his earlier tenure at a three multi-billion dollar uh, medical technology companies, uh, he built the shareholder value at a series of smaller organizations as, as a CEO. Uh, so kind of one to watch here and uh, maybe he will uh, get this uh, company to uh, take off. That's why I started watching it and it uh, did take off on Friday. I wish I would have got in before that, uh, but maybe it's still a good time to uh, jump in. Again, I'm not telling you to uh, buy or sell. Don't give uh, tra tax, legal, or trading advice. Just uh, throwing this one out there and... Uh, Bringing it to your attention, it is a, a penny stock. It's um, still fairly cheap, so um, if this one did run up, uh, you could load the boat and maybe make a killing on this one. Again, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do on this one, but uh, you can uh, decide that for yourself and see what uh, works best for you. Um, so it's kind of interesting, the point of care uh, diagnostic platform. Uh, everybody loves their pets and... Uh, if you follow uh, Chewy, I don't have any shares. I haven't done a video on it yet. Um, it's just not really of interest to me. Um, I wish I would have had some shares as it ran up last year, uh, but that's another one for you to look at. I think it's uh, CHWY. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but um, So this is a uh, veterinary health company creating products for dogs and cats by focusing on the unmet needs of clinical uh, vet veterinarian so kind of an interesting company uh, I'm not going to read it all to you again this is on uh, Yahoo Finance I'll try to leave the uh, link in the uh, description uh, just wanted to bring the highlights out to you why pet care play so Medica is on the uh, move and this is a couple days ago um, it's uh, under the radar play in the pet care space uh, as it says they named the uh, new CEO kind of same same information that we uh, already went over, but uh, pandemic pet adoptions fuel ZOM stock. And uh, here's Chewy, so CHWY, yes. One of the top online retailers 
of the pet and food suppliers enjoyed obvious uh, catalysts due to uh, CV19. Um, and also Insurance Fintech Lemonade. Uh, that one I've looked into. I might do a video on it at a later time. You can leave me a comment if you want me to do a video on that one or not. It's been one that I've been kind of watching. So uh, America loves their pets. I mean, that's all. What more can you say? I don't have a dog or a cat. I do have a bird. So uh, Green Cheek Conyer, maybe uh, someday... Um, I'll have my uh, bird on the channel, who knows, so maybe we'll build a studio and do that together, so if you'd like to see that, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment. Um, anyway, um, Facts at Research uh, Pet Care Index has returned more than 47% through uh, December 3rd, dwarfing the S&P's 500, then return at 15.34%, uh, so definitely some uh, products in some things to watch here so uh, the greater number of pet populated households makes for pet related spending that is rivaling that of child care <laughs> so there you go according to the American Pet Products Association pet spending for 2020 was projected to come in at 99 billion up from 95.7 billion in 2019 and 90.5 billion in 2018 that represents a climb of 9.39 percent in just two years alone so definitely one to watch uh chewy one to watch and i'm definitely going to be uh watching this one um go ahead and set your um alert for whatever price or whatever range so if you want a range of like 80 to uh, 90 cents i would set in a alert for that and Whatever you feel you want to uh, buy this one at or stay away, it's totally fine. Um, I'm just bringing it to your attention. There's got to be something going on with this one. So, analyst rating uh, just kind of maintains a buy. It's still kind of uh, slightly bearish, but um, we'll go back to the price action here in a moment. Um, it's still kind of maintaining the uh, 91 cent, um, but that's pretty much all that I can really find on it. It didn't really give too many uh, ratings here on uh, tip ranks. Uh, tip ranks, I don't know what's going on with it right now, but um, anyway, just wanted to uh, bring that one to you. I don't think they had any ratings over here. Probably not since it's a uh, penny stock, but um, nope. But um, uh, as you can see, I've uh, made a uh, couple pennies but uh, no big deal I'll uh, wait this one out so I just like I did uh, five shares and still continue to watch this one I might pick up some more on the uh, dip but uh, here's kind of what it's done again over the last week uh, kind of doubled almost tripled on the way to uh, tripling the price but uh, we'll see if it can maintain and uh, see if I can find any other information out there on this one just wanted to do a quick video see who has this one um, Again, if you uh, have this one, uh, let me know your cost basis, how many shares. That's always interesting. Gives us something to talk about. And um, if you haven't hit that like button, go ahead and hit that. Drop an elbow on it. Uh, drop your uh, drink, coffee, or whatever you want to drop on it and highlight it. Hit it. And uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe for me. Uh, we've had some growth here. I'm trying to hit 125 by the end of the day. And then I'll set a new goal. I think I'm uh, shooting for 200 by the end of January. I think is a pretty good goal for the channel here. So I thank you for the support, the uh, likes, the comments, the subscribing, and just bringing another one your way. And um, we can all build our community and uh, make money here together. So again, this is Jay, Falling Forward Financial. Happy trading. Happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.